All right, real quick before we move on to sector two, I wanted to do that last sector one battle. Got some help from Padme's mistress and my guild who gave me a tip for a video and then I found the video and um, this took a couple of attempts because I was doing the turn order wrong. But uh, once you get the turn order right, it's actually very, very easy. Um, you just gotta go for JK first and get him out of there because otherwise he will totally fuck up uh, your turns and then everyone will resist so you'll just keep feeding tm to your cls team uh, a lot of the times it is not clean because of all the dots but uh you'll get there not too bad um all right moving on to sector two um this is where i decided to mix it up just a wee wee bit um my dogs are going crazy in the bed because Bella's watching 90 Day Fiance vomit. So I'm recording in the bedroom. And the dogs are doing their weird growly, burrowy thing into the covers. Right, Rax? You little psycho? Um, completely unrelated to anything we normally talk about, the Friends reunion airs on Thursday. I grew up on Friends, so I am beyond pumped for that. Um, it'll be so fucking weird to see the Friends cast after however many years the, after the show has ended. I mean, everybody looks different. I think the person looks the same or most similar to how they did when the show was on is Jennifer Aniston. I think Jennifer Aniston really has aged extremely well. Um, Matt LeBlanc actually looks the same, just with white hair. But uh, I was a big Friends guy. Um, like I said, grew up on it. I mean, that shit was huge when I was in high school. Uh, actually, middle and high school. Um... Yeah, so I'm excited about that. It's going to be on HBO Max. HBO Max also had the West Wing reunion of sorts, which I loved, because I love the West Wing. Also was on when I was in middle and high school. Um, so yeah, totally unrelated to anything that we nor ordinarily talk about on here. Um, but just wanted to put that out there. Um, yeah, otherwise everything is pretty much the same. I, um, we had some good feedback from all the nine videos I put out the other day. <laughs> um, definitely lost some subscribers though. <laughs> uh, that kind of tends to happen when you're putting out nine gag videos. A uh, number of people unsubscribe, but what are you going to do? could also just be that a number of people um, just don't play Swiggo anymore because a number of people have quit. Um, that's nothing new. Uh, and so, you know, they get a notification on YouTube for a video for a game that they don't play anymore, then sure, I can understand unsubscribing. Um, I never have notifications on for anything anyway because otherwise my phone would just be non-stop and I'm on my phone or looking at my phone more than enough already so I just don't have any notifications for anything except for certain discord tags uh, and not even a whole lot of discord tags at that um, so I bought both of these uh, and then realized that I may end up running short on those later so I'm only gonna be buying uh, Commander Sokotano Shards for now. Uh, there was uh, a notice that came out that uh, Commander Sokotano Shards are more expensive than they are supposed to be, so they're going to be giving us some extra shards afterwards. Um, that's fine. Uh, not unhappy about that. Um, Razorcrest isn't bad at 5 star. I've seen a lot of people putting Razorcrest into their fleets, both in GAC and just in Fleet Arena at 5 star. Um, of course, you're going to want to have Mando um, R7. Uh, 
for a number of reasons, but certainly for if you're going to throw in a five star Razor Crest in your fleet lineup. But uh, it uh, bodes very, very well for a seven star Razor Crest. I mean, he it is viable at five stars. I did not think that it would be. Uh, generally speaking, most things are not viable at five stars, but Razor Crest is viable at five stars. It can actually make um, a difference uh, in fleet. I'm, I'm falling far less uh, overnight with Razor Crest as my re- last reinforcement off the bench than I did with Millennium Falcon, any other any number of other ships uh, as my last reinforcement so um, I know that Ray Jawas is not the best team to put up against um, 501st clones especially with Rex's tenacity up Rosie what's the matter you okay are you hungry yeah it's Rosie's dinner time so she's getting a little whimpery little fatso cute little fatso uh so memorial day weekend is coming up it looks like it's going to be kind of shitty weather here in the northeast but i hope uh everyone has a good and safe time Uh, i'll probably put another video out between now and then but uh, just in case i forget or whatever just you know have a happy fun and safe Memorial Day weekend. God, Bella's show in the background. I'm so sorry, you guys. It's just this, like, the worst fucking show alive. 90 Day Fiance. I fucking hate it. It's just full of terrible people that just want to be on TV. Oh, wait, that's most reality TV. Um, anyway, so yeah, I'll be going out east with my family, uh, getting out of the city for a bit. Um, yeah, I mean, Memorial Day weekend is like the unofficial start to summer, right? Even though it's not quite summer yet. Um, so hope everyone has a good time and enjoys themselves and stays safe. Um, segueing safety into COVID a little bit. I was actually surprised to see just how far... Uh, vaccination numbers just really just fucking dropped off um, around here in New York. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed, to be totally honest. Um, Sure, you're going to have diminishing returns. That's no surprise. But, um, I mean, we only vaccinated like 60,000 people yesterday or something like that. Um, So that's a little disheartening. Um... Definitely want to get more people vaccinated, certainly in New York and across the country. But uh, on the other hand, that frees up, theoretically anyway, uh, a lot of supply for us to ship to our friends and neighbors. Canada needs a shit ton of vaccines, so we got to try and hook them up and help them out. Um, obviously Central America needs a lot of vaccines. South America needs a lot of vaccine. Even Japan, um, my people over in Japan are having a, a second wave of sorts with COVID, um, no vaccine or not enough vaccine anyway. Um, I think they still have it only limited to 65 and up. Uh, of course, India, um, is having a very, 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 very rough go of it right now. I did see some encouraging um, articles that the Pfizer and I think it was AstraZeneca vaccines are um, at least moderately effective against the India strain, which is a double or triple mutation. Uh, Of course, not as effective as you know, as they are against the original strain or even the uh, British strain. But uh, something is always better than nothing. Um, as my late father would say, it's a better, than, better than a kick in the pants. Um, so 
although it is disheartening to see our numbers in terms of vaccinations coming down, uh, theoretically then the companies and governments can hopefully coordinate to try to get more supply to other people that need it. Um, unsurprisingly, I haven't really seen a whole lot of articles about the uh, patent relaxation, which was a, a hot topic for a bit. Um, I think it's it might be, maybe not, but it might be uh, a moot conversation now, uh, now that the supply is outweighing the demand here in the States in many places. Uh, so we should, should hopefully be able to get supply out to those that need it and want it. Um, so yeah, we're, we're getting there. Um, it seems crazy that we've been dealing with this shit for over a year, but, uh, you know, people are stubborn, um, and, like, even the most homogenous of countries, Japan, again, for example, super homogenous country full of uber rule followers, and they're having, uh, a, another go, another, another wave of it now, um, so, you know, even the most concerted efforts are alone anyway not enough to combat this virus clearly we needed these vaccines and will continue to need them for the foreseeable future oh good it sounds like bella switched to modern family uh, far preferable um so yeah i mean look some people are lucky enough that they can fight this virus off without any kind of medical intervention, that's great. Um, power to them. Bella's one of those people. She still got vaccinated. Um, I was around Bella. Didn't get COVID. I had to quarantine no fewer than four times. Somehow didn't get it. So some people are lucky. Some people can fight it off without ever really letting the virus replicate to the point of serious illness or god forbid hospitalization but uh, everybody is different everybody is different uh, and that's nothing new you know um, a healthy person uh, fights off cancerous cells every single day and then you have plenty of people that get you know metastatic cancer out of nowhere so uh or, well, seemingly nowhere. Um, so everybody's body is different. Um, medications work for some like a charm, and some people have really bad adverse reactions. That's just the medical field. That's just... Uh, pharmacologically speaking, that's, you know, how the dice rolls. Um, but anyway, so I, I was, or am, a little bit... Uh, disheartened to see uh, lower vaccination numbers, but uh, um, hopefully it does pick up a bit. Um, I, I'm not super thrilled with the whole carrot on the stick thing, like, hey, if you're fully vaccinated, you can not do all these other things, like masking everywhere, basically, and stuff like that. I'm not super big on carrot on the sticking people, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. I mean, not for nothing, um, the city of New York carrot on, carrot on sticked uh, a number of its employees. We got three hours of uh, extra comp time for um, getting vaccinated. So that is very carrot on the sticky. But, uh, Whatever. Um, I definitely think that there are, you know, companies should incentivize their uh, employees to get vaccinated, but certainly can't make it mandatory. That would be illegal. While it's uh, not fully approved, or while the vaccines are not fully approved, Pfizer should be well on its way to getting full approval. They've, uh, they have... 
they have, I think they have six months worth, at least six months worth of data they got, which is what the FDA requires for um, full approval. They got well over six months, including their original uh, phase two trials. Uh, so that should be coming soon. I actually haven't seen anything on it recently, but it should be coming soon. Um, and I'm sure Moderna will be close behind and barring any more hiccups. Uh, Johnson & Johnson, likewise. Um, yeah. So, we'll, we'll see. Um, I still highly recommend getting vaccinated. Um... If only for peace of mind, right? Um, I mean, that's just my opinion. Uh, so yeah, I tried a few different things here um, against this gas team. I actually think, weirdly enough, uh, the sectors get easier as you go on in terms of the last bosses. Like, I finished Sector 3 today, and I feel like it was the easiest so far. Um, I haven't been going as hard on Conquest this time around because we have a whole two weeks to do it. Um, the refreshes are a little bit more expensive this time around, so you know why waste crystals uh, when you have really plenty of time to do what you need to do. Um, but yeah, I, I enjoy it. I'm very, very, very glad that... Uh, they mix it up a little bit now with different bosses. Uh, I don't even remember if this is the actual team that I used to finish this off. It might be. It could very well be. But, uh... Hi, Rose. Yeah, you happy now that you had your dinner? I love my dogs. Dogs are the best. Dogies are the best. All right, so beyond that, I don't really have anything else to report on except, holy fuck, my allergies have been insane the last week or so. It's just like, I don't know if it's the fact that uh, the weather is going from like 70 to 90 and back to 70. Rosie, what are you doing? But, um, yeah, I don't know. All I know is that my allergies were fucking killing me all week. Rosie, what are you doing, psycho? There you go, baby. So, yeah, uh, otherwise everything else is status quo. The market was surprisingly uh, good today. I didn't really get a chance to look at it, but I didn't see a whole lot in the way of new news. But the market was up today a good bit, like 1%. Um, which is nice. Uh, yeah, I was in, uh, literally an all day training today. So I really didn't have a chance to read anything. So after I put this video out, that is what I will be doing. Catching up on, uh, some CNBC stuff that I missed during the day. I think this is actually the team that I do in fact use to get the turn meter reduction here. Um, I did say that I thought the market was going to move sideways for a good bit. So far, that is true. Um, it's actually doing a little bit better than I expected, honestly, um, considering the aggregated factors. Uh, including but not limited to the, the fact that it is May. And even though I don't necessarily believe in uh, sell in May and go away, plenty of people do. Uh, as we finish up here... Um, go back to it in the next one. I think I got it here. Oh, yes, I did. Look at that. 